Big changes are coming to required minimum distributions, or RMDs, thanks to the passing of the SECURE Act 2.0 on December 29th. If you're nearing retirement, you're going to want to understand how these changes affect your retirement portfolio and even how you plan for retirement. Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. In today's video, we're discussing everything that you need to know about the RMD changes in the SECURE Act 2.0. Yeah, you know, Michelle, um, the passing of this bill as it relates to the RMDs is a game changer for investors. Yeah. Not only does it push back the RMD age, but penalties for not taking withdrawals are also changing and changing in investors' favor. Um, I've got to say in my 25 years in the business, Michelle, one of the biggest complaints I get from RMDs. retirees is the fact that they have to take RMDs. Right. They literally hate that. They want to save their money. So, you know, and let's go back to the original SECURE Act of uh, 2019. In that, it extended the age from 70 and a half to 72, where you're required to take your RMDs for your IRA accounts. Right. Now, with the passing of the Omnibus Bill and SECURE Act 2.0, require extends the required minimum distributions beginning to age 73, starting this year in 2023. Uh, it's refreshing to see a piece of legislation that absolutely uh, that works for the benefit of the consumer, isn't it? Woo Let's celebrate that one, <laughs> right? I'm like, what's when I was looking through the you know reading the bill, I was like, what's the catch? What's the catch? But it really there's a lot in in the bill which we've we've you know done in video other videos on, but specifically with right. RMDs, I think this is actually a, it's a, it is a game changer, as you said. Yeah, it sure is. I get asked a lot about RMDs, especially in this market where we're at. People don't want to take them when the markets are down, but yeah. they have to because the penalties set by IRS are so high. But as I'll explain in this uh, in just a little bit, stay tuned. That's about to change with this bill. So it's my understanding that with the Secure Act 2.0, RMDs will be phased in over, you know, phased in over the next 10 years. Uh, let's start there before we talk about RMD penalty changes. What is what is explain to us what that looks like? Okay, here's a breakdown of when you need to take your RMDs. Okay, okay. so in phase one, in 2023, this year, RMDs will now start at age 73. Okay. If you've already started your RMDs, though, this will not change for you. So if you were 72 sure. and were already starting your RMDs last year, it's not going to change. Okay, but if you turn 72 in 2023. You can take your first RMDs by December 1st, 31st of 2024, or you could delay it till April 1st of 2025. Hmm. If you delay to that following April, here's the key. You need to take two RMDs in 2025, one for your first year of 2024 and one for 2025. So okay. be careful on that. Okay. So what about phase two? Phase two, starting in 2033, 10 years from now. The RMDs move up to age 75. We've talked about that quite a bit, that that was the plan in the long run. So Okay. All right. So as you mentioned earlier, penalties for not taking the RMDs on time are also changing. So let's get into that because I think that's a big one. <laughs> it is. It is. It's probably the biggest part of it. Yes, they extended out the, the age to where you have to take them, but this is the big one. This um, this bill includes massive changes to the original 50% penalty for not taking RMDs uh, on time. So remember, we've always talked about that. People hated that 50% penalty yeah. for not taking RMDs. That's going to drop to 25% in 2023. Huge. That's, you know, that's 50% drop, right? Yeah. But the penalty also drops to 10% if you take the required amount by the end of the second year that it's due. For example... Let's say it's this year. RMDs, you got RMDs, they got to be taken out, and you didn't take them out till December 31st of 2025. Guess what? That penalty is only 10%. So it's getting better. Okay. okay. But there's also one more provision in there, Michelle. The penalty could be waived completely if you didn't take the RMD due, in, due to an unforeseen event like an illness. Interesting. Uh, but then withdrew it as soon as you realized it. Well, as soon as you realized it, well, that could be what if you was in the hospital for six months. Okay. Sure. So there's a, there's a fine line there. What you have to do is ask IRS uh, for a penalty waiver. And there's okay. Thing. And that's something then you're going to have to deal with the IRS as to yeah. like, if it was an un unforeseen event, if it wasn't. Yeah. And, and I'm sure they're going to be pretty lenient on that because if you can explain in writing shows doctor's bills or sure, whatever. Sure, 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 sure. I mean, sure. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So, okay. 
All right, so Roth accounts and workplace plans will also be exempt from R and D starting in 2024. Is that correct? Yeah, finally. You know, this goes hand in hand now with Roth IRAs, which did not have RMDs. 401k Roth 401ks did though. So right. now folks don't have to roll. Okay, and what people were doing, Michelle, they were taking their Roth 401ks, rolling them to Roth sure. IRAs just to stop the RMDs. Now you ain't got to worry about that. So. All right. Lots in here that does benefit the consumer. So we're going to drop a video below in the description and in the pinned comment on how the Secure 2.0, the Secure Act 2.0 uh, affects your retirement. Now we've just talked about RMDs today, but that is a big one. So do check that out because there's a lot in here. Yep. Like I said in the intro, you got to make sure that you know how these changes affect you so that you can, uh, well, better plan for retirement, avoid some of these penalties Exactly. And uh, keep more of your hard-earned money. Yeah. Finally, good to see a bill like this. Right. I'm excited. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, if you like the content of this video, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Brian and I put out videos every day now on how you can yeah, keep hard, more yeah. of your hard-earned money and make better informed decisions about financial products. Brian, before we wrap up, anything else you want to say? No, that's about it. Uh, thanks for everything. And uh, folks, this is all about your retirement. And uh, it's pretty exciting that we finally got a bill that's in your favor. So absolutely. All right. Check out the video below in the link and the pinned comment. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, everyone.